Hello everybody. Today we have a... I actually don't know what the brand is. Uh, I'm gonna guess Canarm or Banvil. Uh, from the looks of those brackets, most likely Canarm. But I've never seen a Canarm with a spot like here, so that's what makes me think Banvil, but... Man, I just don't know. Okay. I got this for free. Uh, from my family reunion, at my, it's hosted at my great uncle's. And uh, he has a pretty decent sized garage. This has been sitting on the shelf for as long as I can remember going to those reunions. And this year I just finally built up the courage to just go for it and ask him. But yeah, it was just sitting up on a shelf. I was taking a look in his garage because he has a couple nice cars. I was taking pictures for one of my friends because they're into cars. And um, I was like, hey, uh, are you going to use that anytime soon? He's like, no, you can have it if you want. And I'm like, awesome. Climbed up on a ladder, got down for me. And yeah, I was pretty good of him. Um, I know we had more in there at one point, but I guess he threw them out and just forgot this one, but yeah. I thought I got this one. Now, um, yeah. Get to the demonstration part before I start babbling for you guys. It's got a three spotlight kit, which I'll demonstrate for you guys. Uh, these two bulbs work. That one's burnt out. Pretty sure all sockets work. All the wiring looks pretty good and intact. Wasn't a single issue. The inside of the switch housing was still spotless. The outside of this thing was fucking disgusting. Instead of uh, white and can, it was gray and cane. It was so gross. I had to scrub the hell out of it to get it clean, this clean. Even then, this thing's been pretty rough shape, which I'll show you more of at the end of the video because the camera's doing this thing favors. All right, and now we'll start off with high. It seems that one of those blade arms decided to knock out of alignment. Maybe I did that. Because <laughs> when I was taking this thing apart to clean it, I put all the brackets together. They were like completely perfectly aligned, not a single imperfection. So I guess putting on the blades, I must have knocked one out. Oh well. This fan's got to be massively restored before I use it anywhere. I might repaint it, flip it on the plain white side, and I throw it in the spare bedroom. Moving an okay amount of air for a 42 inch hugger, it's pretty good. The bearings only make a tiny bit of noise, which amazes me because I haven't even oiled them yet. All I did was just uh, put WD-40 in them because this thing was almost seized and it was making all kinds of noises. It was grinding, scraping, I barely turned, I'm like, oh damn. I didn't even know if these were going to be able to be safe, but yeah, they were. Haven't even oiled them yet, I probably will soon. But WD-40 seems to have done the trick. Maybe it just revived the grease that was in there. Eh, I got bugs all over me. I had to turn the fans down because it was too loud in here. Usually, when they're on low, they don't do so good with bug control. When they're on high, that's when they uh, keep the bugs away. Because it just kills them. Actually, fun fact, the other day I was fluffing out a bag. I hit one of the blades, and it rained dead bugs on me. It was so gross. Yeah, the, the ends of these blades are just awful. <laughs> I'll clean them some other time. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of high. It's medium. Here's a pit shot. Pretty decent size, pretty, yeah, pretty decent pitch. There's a big motherfucking fly on one of the lights back there. I was just going, tss, tss, tss. yeah. Try not to go near that. <laughs> I don't know if it's a horse fly or not. All right, here's low. I'd mount it. I'd mount it a little loose, just because uh, with these beams they're warped. So if I mounted the fan like true and tight. If you wanted it from, like, say, the side of it, it would look like that. It'd be on such an angle, it's ridiculous. If you ever see my video on the Facebook group of the SMC U42 that was tested right over there, same beam. Yeah, I was just leaning so far, the motor was maybe like a millimeter away from scraping the housing. Alright. I'll put it to high. Yeah, 
All right, we spin down. And when it stops, I'll show you the rough shape it's in. Ugh, sorry, I gotta bend down and just grab the essentials. You Canadian folks know, we got the good stuff. <laughs> now these bugs, I didn't know the bugs were gonna be such an issue. My gosh, I apologize, you probably see them flying in front of lines like crazy because I can just see them buzzing around. Yeah, it actually has a spin down time now. Pretty sure if I put the blades on and I pull, put it to high, it'd probably go slower than the low speed. Still smells like a mildewy garage, that's for sure. Like, damn, the cane is awful. I don't get how the smell sticks to it, it's not even real cane. Yeah, I'll show you a close up of that when it spins down, because I know people like to watch that for some reason. There we go, it's almost stopped. There we go. So my copy down. All right. Now, yeah, the uh, cane. Just a vinyl insert, and uh, this thing is in pretty rough condition. The camera is doing it favors. It looks like a hundred times better on camera, but like the whole paint of the fan is yellowed. Let me grab a freshly something painted freshly white, like these industrial fan blades in here that are a little dirty. That's okay. See the difference? <laughs> yeah, ridiculous. Uh, the ends of the blades, like the around the edges. Oh my goodness. There's more chips than paint. And then some blades, like this one, it's got chips there. This one's got it the worst. Yeah, this fan's it's had a rough life. It looks so nice on camera. Like I really wish it looked like that in real life, but it's so bad. And this spotlight is very loose. Like if it's not in the max, you just touch it. It goes all the way down there. It's like all loosey goosey. The socket's loose. I haven't done anything to it yet. A couple spots where the paint's chipped around the edge there. Uh, this fan is so yellowed, I, when I took these, the bracket off the blade to clean it, there was such a difference in where the bracket was and that, it was ridiculous. But yeah. That's it for the Can Armor Banville Mystery Hugger. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good night.